sunrise. Not in the morning, you could say, because there's a calf, I say. Max alarm went off and I, well, I'll talk when the quad's not going. I catch you sneaking a bite? No. Take the whole lid off, bud, and then it'll be a lot easier. <laughs> I'm making yogurt here, too. This is, um, one of my ebooks, Boathouse Summers. These are a favorite popsicle of ours. We're ready to go to the lake. Someone's got her swimsuit on. Oh, We just need to check Jess a quick. Very suspensing, but I don't know if he's like actually watching the cows or not. He's usually pretty observant, but I just need to put eyes on her first. So Jessa is um, miserable today. Hi, my cow. She is nine days overdue today. Yeah, and um, the further they get overdue, the more likely they are to have a bull calf. Whoa, the veins in her eyes. <laughs> She's gonna get out. Go around there, Mac. Yeah, she's not gonna get out. Well, she's gonna try to. She's she's the kind sweetheart. Her pins are just not gone yet. I know. Like. Yeah. I don't like my, oh. I don't like oh, the cap is right there. You can feel it. Ew. I'm not sticking my hand in that fresh poop. You just wiped it on your clothes. Yuck. The blends right in. <laughs> oh. So you can. So I have my milking machine now. And um, I mean, I could have cleaned this part before, but because he needed it for figuring out some things, I didn't see the point in deep cleaning it. So I did a first soak. It's been sitting for two years, friends. This is the claws or inflation or all that and hoses. Did it first soak and it was grow. So I drained it, rinsed to gave everything a quick scrub and then soaking it again. Again, did that on the bucket. Marius needs to um, put a plywood base for this to be attached to so it doesn't just rattle the whole cart. And we're gonna like put some sort of rubber and then zip tie these so it doesn't just rattle the whole time. This hook is for the inflation to go on. This here is how I control the vacuum pressure. I'll like, you know, tweak it to get it where I want it. And then this will just basically never be touched. Um, he put it right here so that it's very protected from other things. And then this 
so I can get my machine all hooked up. This is where the vacuum hose will go. And when I'm ready to actually get milk in, I can turn that on so that my inflations aren't, you know, trying to suck up anything they can while I'm getting arranged. Marius is visiting a friend right now. And I don't anticipate him having a piece of plywood ready for me before morning milking. Because it's like 9 o'clock right now. At night. Um, so I probably will not be using this tomorrow. I would like to use it. What is dripping? Something is dripping, friends. I would like to test this machine on Clover first because Jess is super touchy right now. Like you touch her udder and she flinches. Okay, there's a drain in the floor there, but there's something wet there. Where is this? Is it condensation? What is it dripping from? That's more from the floor. What is right there that's dripping? What the heck? Why is there something dripping? Is there water coming out of this? There's water coming out of this cooler. The cooler is leaking and leaking down. What the? This is yogurt. And leaking down the floor. Oh. Could you grab me a towel? Just leave it close for you. I got yogurt culturing in there. Well, that's no good. We're going to move it. It's not your fault. Grab the other side, Freya. We're going to move this onto the deck. It's not our fault. Careful. That's definitely not ideal, but not much we can do about that now. This is him and this is a rooster. Let's see. This that definitely looks like a rooster. Show me the other one. Uh, I'd say the other one might be a rooster, too. It's got a pretty big comb. Let's do the skinny. You got a feather? Yeah, it's, it's very good. Oh boy, Jessa, you are full. What do you think of her pins? Still hard? They're kind of like sinking in a different sort of way. What do you think, Jessa? Mama. Yes, Rowan? Jessa, hi my baby, you had a baby, yeah she was just ticked at Pepper, she's not ticked at you, I know. oh I'm shivering out here, and you can see where she had the, oh but you can see where she had it all right, no, she's... Her horn, but... oh yeah last night Jessa lost one of her horn buds, It's a bull. Oh, it's a, I know the cute ones are always bulls. Yeah. Look at its you beautiful markings. Well. And the cute ones are always bulls. Why did it have to be a bull? So we're hoping to take the calf on the quad and bring them in to the barn because it's chilly out here. But. It's not minus 30, no. We, she wouldn't be out here then. Uh, Jessa's not very happy with Pepper. So I'm just 
not sure if she's going to just come for us too. I don't really feel like being chased with a cow by a cow right now. I'm not awake enough for that. She had a cat. How are you not awake enough? <laughs> Let's get you in here. Jessica. Oh no, I just meant in the feeder, Mac. Like the feeder. Jessica. So if the calf's mouth is warm, they have nursed. So, hey you, I'm okay. Don't give me that. The calf has not ate, its mouth is still cold, but I wanted to show you this, these pins we've been checking, like feel how they're just dipped and gone. Like you can still feel the ligament, but they're just gone. And they'll, and you see how her, some people say their tail head looks like, you know, it's in a ponytail. Oh, okay, let's see if we can get this calf to drink. Is it smell, do you want to feel its mouth? Tell me if the roof of its mouth is warm or cold. I thought it was cold to start, but... Like the top here, yeah, the roof is a bit cold, but the, like down farther, it's a bit warm. Yeah. It's kind of like maybe she nursed like right where she was born before we got there. How long will the calf last if it doesn't eat? Well, it will last. It's a matter of whether it should or not. It's yes. Yeah. When we were bringing the calf in, it pooped. So we're thinking that it did nurse. We're gonna leave him alone for a bit longer and it's milking time soon anyways. We should go wake up the other kids and tell them there's a calf. We had friends over last night for birthday dinner for Marius. And I didn't get to bed till like, I don't know, 11.30. And I had great intentions of sleeping in till like 7. Because I was up late two nights ago too. And I was like, I'm going to sleep in. 7. Change my alarm. My alarm just went off. And I've been up for two and a half hours now. So Maybe early to bed tonight. Actually, no. We're going to look at a dirt bike for Mac. After milking time tonight. So no, it's not an early to bed. It's very hard to milk her teeth. I can't lock the cows out of the barn for long, and since it's nice and sunny now. I'm letting Jessa and the kids have named him Cookies and Cream. So last night, Jessa has skurs, they're called. They're not true horns. And she lost one last night. Also, I'm never painting my nails red again. I keep thinking I have blood on me. It's not good for my line of work, apparently. Here, Jessa, out you go. Milk fever is a huge concern with Jersey cows. 
Um, Jess is only on her second calf, so she's still in the lower risk area. But what I'm looking for is I feel her ears. And if they feel cold, and if she's acting not drunk, but like a little stumbly, slow to get up, anything like that, I would um, immediately give her an IV of calcium. I would, if they're already showing signs of milk fever, I will be skipping any preventatives. If she had had more calves, I would be giving her a preventative. We give a shot called Theracal. A lot of people give like a bolus or a calcium paste. I really don't like giving those. I think they're quite hard to give. It's easier to give a shot. Sometimes people can't get the shot though because they can, you have to get the shot through a vet versus the calcium paste and bolus you can get at feed stores quite often. That's not a problem for us and we find it faster and more convenient to just give them a shot than try to shove something down their throat. So that's why we do what we do. Big sister Star is checking out the calf and Jess is pretty cool with it. Star is actually almost old enough that if she had been bred young, she could be having a calf pretty quick, but uh, she was just bred a couple weeks ago. Oh, that's a pretty cute nose scrunch. My boys, especially Mac, are very aware of cleanliness and milk handling and how important it is because, you know, it's just been taught to them for years. So I was actually quite happy to see that this jar had been labeled for the calf. Um, so this means that for some reason this jar of milk was not as clean as it should have been. It could be because friends helped them milk last night, so they just didn't trust the milk cleanliness with having multiple kids milking and such, and you know, did they wash their hands and this and that. So he just labeled it for the calf, and that's great. We can feed it to the calf one day, um, which, yeah, I just, it may sound silly, but I was just very happy to see that they had been aware and labeled accordingly. Two days a week, friends of mine milk, and when they milk, they take all the milk and then we just feed older milk from the fridge, warm it up and feed it to the calves. So we'll just feed that on one of those things. We had way too much goat's milk in the fridge. So I'm freezing six quarts of it now. Sometimes I freeze dry it, sometimes I freeze it. Here's the moment of truth. Does it work? I don't know if it was pulsing though. You can turn it off now. When we have a new calf from a milk cow, we check them, the cow, often for the first like 36 hours to make sure if there's any milk fever stuff we're catching it super early. So we have people coming for lunch in a few. And I just ran down here. Put eyes on Jessa and see how she is before I get distracted with company for hours. Perfect, Jessa is standing up and the calf is trying to nurse. Oh, she is just leaking colostrum. There you go, calf is nursing. Is that her baby? Oh, she's so adorable. Is that her mama? Yeah. Is it? 
Yep. Is that what, Pa? No, that's Jessa. Jessa? Oh, that little baby cub is cute. I will check her in the night even, and if she's laying down, I will make her get up because I want to see that they can get up at a normal rate and they're not like slow or wobbly or all those sort of things. Milk fever, I feel like it should be called milk paralysis, not milk fever, because they actually get really cold. And the what it is, is their body, like in the sudden production of milk, all this calcium is being drawn into the milk from their system and it sends them into paralysis. There's often more than just calcium imbalance at play, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus are um, the top ones. So you actually give them something that has all of them. Anyhow, I think, like think of it more as milk paralysis, not milk fever. They don't get hot, they actually get cold, their ears get cold, all these sort of things. So the milking machine is actually not getting adequate vacuum. Our friends that all came for lunch, they were all trying to help me troubleshoot it. We got some vacuum leak somewhere we're trying to find. I have new hoses arriving soon, hopefully. By the time you see this video, I have new hoses. We were able to figure it out to just limp it along and milk out tonight. But man, it's, it's hard. <laughs> We came to check Jessa and <laughs> found that the calf had walked through the fence. Also, we both, he's in his sandals, like his inside sandals and I'm barefoot because we didn't expect them to be as far away from the house as possible. Finally found the calf with very little help from you. Thank you, Jessa. No, she tipped us off. She was headed this Only way. kind of. Payment! Over here! Yep, come around over there and come right here. The one thing I can almost guarantee you if you're milking a fresh cow, whether you're milking by hand or machine or whatever, you're gonna get a nasty tail to the face. Is it gonna happen every time? No. About half the time when I'm dealing with a fresh cow, as in like for every two fresh cows, one of them. I got an epic tail to the face this morning. Thankfully I had an extra wash cloth still. So I washed my entire face. My glasses were covered, my hands were covered. I'm glad I put an apron on. I don't know what I was thinking wearing semi-decent clothes, milking a fresh cow, like, that was really ridiculous. Really ridiculous. So right after when we got in, she pooped and just covered it. So I did my best to wash it, but she really, really doesn't want it being touched. So then I had a squirt bottle of iodine and I was just hosing it down and I'm gonna give it another hose down too. I have a gallon of colostrum that's extra the calf didn't need. And um, it's older than 24 hours. So it's not stuff you save for emergencies for other calves and such. So we're going to just give it to the lucky chicken. 